If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's up guys, it's Jayco and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the possibility and why I personally don't think that a map expansion, something big like Liberty City or um, Vice City would never come to GTA Online. Though it would be the perfect time or really close to it because now that the PS5 and the Xbox Series X consoles are now, now running GTA Online, uh, we don't really have to worry about PS4, Xbox One any longer, so those will probably stop getting updates soon. And honestly, the sooner the better, because that means that we can get bigger and better updates for PC, PS5, and the Xbox Series consoles. Because something like Liberty City would have a lot of trouble running on last-gen consoles. You drive past the casino on last-gen consoles, it wants to, you know, die, like, on the spot. It's really laggy, sometimes you even get some game crashes. It's never been super, super bad. It's been, it's been bearable, but you know what I mean. Especially if it was just in free mode, like, you could just fly over, like, a mile or two off the coast to the east or the west, and Liberty City, for example, would be right there. That'd be a lot to load in at once, but if it was, like, a separate thing, like Keo Perico or what Guarma was in Red Dead, where you're actually taken to a different spot and all the other part of the map is not loaded in, maybe it could work, but here's why I really don't think it would ever happen. Recently, Take-Two Interactive had their little uh, stock meeting or whatever, and they revealed that they're going to be remastering some older games, and we have great speculation on the fact that it could be GTA 4 and Red Dead, because when they did the trilogy last year, November, though it was a disaster, they still wanted to continue remastering <laughs> some of their older games, like GTA 4, the Max Payne, some of the Max Payne series is being uh, remade or remastered, I believe, and Red Dead could also become remastered now you're probably asking yourself what does gta 4 remastered have anything to do with get us getting liberty city in gta 5 in fact wouldn't it be easier because couldn't they just copy and paste it over to los santos and gta online yes yes they could but that is actually probably the issue is that if we had liberty city for free on gta 5 a game that we already currently own or for the most part already own then there would be no real reason to have gta 4 because you drive around liberty city and be like oh yeah it was cool and it was fun that and there'd probably be nothing to do in los santos we have all these businesses that we can partake in and Los Angeles customs and stuff, yeah, they could make some, you know, Liberty City's customs, and they would have to do a lot to change Liberty City and actually have a reason to go there, or maybe they would add a heist or some missions over there, but if GTA 4 were to get remastered, and it, we'd already have it on GTA 5, it wouldn't get probably as many sales, because people probably like the nostalgia for Liberty City, uh, because it was GTA 4 and it was an old, really nice game, and if they already had it again, they'd probably get hold of it fast. And then getting GTA 4 Remastered, you would only be getting it for the story, not so much the map or the missions or just to drive around or the city anymore. But of course, I'm one person and what you guys think is important to me as well. So comment that down below whether or not it would actually be worth it. Because like I said, you know, what's the point of having GTA 4 Remastered or having Liberty City Remastered if it's already right there? And Rockstar would have to go out of their way to be remastering some of the businesses and, you know, making it so there's game modes over there, maybe a heist and making Los Santos Customs or some sort of custom shop available over there. And it would just be so much extra work to do that remastering GTA 4 would probably be easier. Same with Vice City. Let's imagine, let's just imagine that there's speculation, you know, that GTA 6 is going to be set in Vice City. It would kind of make sense considering they've already redone San Andreas in Liberty City in the HD universe. Let's say Vice City is up next. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense if they gave us part or most of the GTA 6 map when it could possibly drop in the next, you know, few years. Who knows when? I obviously don't know when. Nobody knows when. But that doesn't mean that they could possibly add a new sort of city or expansion into the game. 
Now, like Los Venturas, for example, would be pretty cool. And it wouldn't have to be the most massive thing in the world, kind of like a Las Vegas Strip sort of thing, and just have it so, you know, maybe there's a heist there, a cool new casino heist, or, I don't know, some new robbery or facility on a, on a coast or an island or something, maybe some James Bond type shit, you go to f a facility, you know, kind of like the Doomsday Heist, and you gotta save the world or something, I think that would be pretty cool, I don't really like being the secret super agent that they made us in Doomsday, I like doing more crime stuff, like robbing the casino for example, that is just more fun to me and robbing people, but uh, maybe that's what they want to do, but I highly doubt it. I personally don't think anything big would ever come to GTA Online, especially so late in its life cycle, life cycle, sorry. Though it could be very possible, like if, like I said, if they are remastered GTA 4, they could easily copy and paste their newer HD version and textures of GTA 4 and just slip it into GTA Online. Though it probably wouldn't run, it would be really hard to optimize, but if it's already done for them, it could be pretty easy to, you know, do. Um, and same with Vice City, if they're actually making GTA 6 set in Vice City, why would they give us the map now, especially when it could possibly in, be in a future title? But something like Los Venturas or a new island or a new facility off the coast of blah 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 really seems possible to me, and that could be one of the bigger updates, because we're considering now that they're on next-gen consoles, the updates are only going to get bigger and better, and by the time they stop updating PS4 and Xbox One, they're going to be getting even more bigger and better, so um, I have high hopes for the updates, though we should be getting way more stuff, not only, and we should be getting them way more often, I have high hopes for the little that they're still doing to this game, it seems like. But yeah, that's my two cents on the whole ordeal, Liberty City, Vice City, etc, etc, in GTA Online. Um, I really don't think that it'll ever happen because of just future titles that they want to release. It wouldn't really make any sense, but of course I want to let... I want to hear what you guys have to say, and of course, I don't know anything. I don't work for Rockstar, I don't know what they're planning. I could be completely wrong. They could drop a Liberty City update an hour after this video goes up. I have no idea. No clue at all. But, um, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe. Thanks again for all the support lately. We have been streaming some GTA Online, and thanks for everyone who stopped by. As well as if you'd like to become a member, though it isn't completely necessary if you'd like to continue supporting the channel in a monetary way, you can. But watching the videos, dropping likes, and commenting also helps out a bunch, and that's all you really need to do. And, uh, yeah, thanks again, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.